You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, we are getting so close to the holiday season at this point, and sometimes that can mean a rise in our stress levels. So we have brought the director from HPL Livewell, Julie Morrison. Welcome back. Thank you for coming here today. Sure, happy to be back. So let's get real. No yes. matter how perfect your family is, no matter how great your holiday season is, yep. I feel like it can always be a time that creates some anxiety. Yep, and a lot of times we do that to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> right, with anticipating trying to do it all perfect, and we mm -hmm. have this Norman Rockwell painting in our brains of like, what's well, gonna be like this, and then this'll happen, and the kids will get along the whole time, and the whole thing. Um, and I think we need to be reasonable. Um, but one of the best things I think we can tell people is try to cope ahead. Right? Okay. This what is, does that mean? So this is probably not your first rodeo, right? You've had Thanksgiving before, these different holidays, and you can kind of anticipate what's going to come. So for example, say you're a college kid and you're home from school and you know you're going to see your aunts and your uncles and mm -hmm. all those guys, and you know they're going to ask you about school, but maybe you took a withdrawal. Mm. Maybe you took some time off. Mm -hmm. If you know they're going to ask you, maybe be ready for, what's the message I want to send? Mm. What do I want to say ahead of time? And the other thing is, is that, and I say this to my kids all the time, is we also have to recognize we reinforce behavior if we let it keep coming. So if we want to manage the narrative, you decide ahead of time. All right, well, I don't want to talk much about college. So when it comes up, I'm going to redirect the conversation. Right. Things are okay. Things are good. What's going on with you know, your job or what about this? And trying to redirect conversation. But a lot of us go into the holidays knowing what are these anticipated points of tension and then how do I kind of get my power back by anticipating those and coping ahead? How do I want this mm -hmm. to go? And I think expectations are really what mm. it comes down to too because sure. a lot of times you're planning for this kind of perfect moment. Maybe you don't see your family all the time. And I think too, especially for women, it's been proven, American Psychology Association says women have more stress because they take on more of the burden. Well, everybody wants it to be perfect, but let's ask ourselves, like, do we even really know what that is? If I say, I want Thanksgiving to be perfect, at the end of that day, what did it have to look like? You know, let's be reasonable. What's happening? People are coming together. They're, they're getting together. They made it there, right? We're sharing that time. Is that the evaluation? Why does it have to be better and better and better? And mm -hmm. I think that we have that, right, with social media and the posting of this and that and, you know, Pinteresting the, the way the turkey's supposed <laughs> right. to look. I'm right. hoping I don't make anyone sick, right? Like, yes. let's make sure that we stay reasonable sure. about these things. So there's a lot of this coping ahead that we can do kind yep. of about the conversations we're going to have, maybe the expectation of what yep. makes it onto the table. But what about maybe the things that you can't plan for, like grandma and grandpa are stuck at the airport, different travel things pop up mm -hmm. because we know that can happen too. And that can add to stress as well. Maybe you're traveling to meet family. Mm -hmm. How do we kind of deal with that immediate stretch that comes on maybe that we can't anticipate? I think the thing that we go in knowing is that there's going to be stressors, either small ones or mm -hmm. large, large ones, that we're not going to be able to anticipate. And I think that trying to stay in the moment and solve the problems that are in front of us is the most useful. Mm -hmm. Grandma and Grandpa are stu stuck in the airport, and unless you're going to be able to charter a flight, go get them, mm -hmm. you're not going to fix that. But what are you going to do? You're going to be able to sit there and think, okay, so with the problem in front of me, what are my options? Mm -hmm. There are always options to be able to kind of cope with some of those stressors. So maybe we push dinner back by a little bit. Maybe we have dinner and then we have another round of dinner later. Trying to identify that we have an opportunity to make memories that don't have to be perfect, but right. that have to be adjusted along the way. Mm -hmm. And you brought up the meals and just the last thing because HPL Livewell has so much focus on this, on eating disorders. Sure. I just mm -hmm. think we should say how maybe families can be a little more aware that yeah. Things around eating can be a real struggle, and you never know who's struggling with an eating disorder. And I'm so glad you brought it up. Absolutely. We don't necessarily want to talk about, first of all, if you're at a family dinner, we are not looking to comment on people's bodies mm -hmm. or what they've chosen to put on their plates when they're sitting at the dinner table. Once you're at that table, the conversation is about everything really but the food, mm -hmm. you know, about being together, about yes. things that are going on in your lives. Um, and recognizing really not just with eating disorders, but really with anything, people are coming to visit and get together. You don't know what they're coming with. Right. Yes, they're family and friends, but you don't know everything about someone's life. So mm -hmm. taking a non-judgmental stance, both for the people who you're getting together with and also for yourself, everybody's just kind of doing the best they can. Mm -hmm. We're all doing the best we can. That's, That's right. it. That's all we yeah. ask for at the holidays. That's season. right. Yep. Thank you Absolutely. for your help, Julie, on this. <laughs> I, we're going to go into the season much stronger now, I feel like. Excellent.